It's time for the NFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Carolina. It's the Saints and the Panthers, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 22. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Garden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. to return here in two weeks for Super Bowl 56. We are underway in L.A. On the return, Deontay Harris. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback, who is now in his seventh season in the league, former number one overall pick, Jameis Winston. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And Jameis now on first down. He's got the tight end, Vanette. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Here's Winston. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Winston on third and two. And that is incomplete. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. Christian McCaffrey deep for Carolina. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Panthers and their head coach, Matt Rule. They'll be led out by their 24-year-old quarterback in his fourth season from USC, a former third overall pick, Sam Darnold. And the thing with Sam Darnold is we know the skill set is there. May not be the most mobile. On first down, Darnold. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive. It's a quick first down. They'll fake the handoff, now Darnold. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And this one is incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Back to throw, Darnold. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. 
Darnold to throw again. And Darnold, he lost the football. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Winston now to throw on first down. Underneath pass here to Van Ed. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Winston now. That's complete to Troutman right side. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strike at the 49. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. Throwing again on second and ten. Winston, open man is the tight end Troutman. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Throwing, Winston. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. They'll throw again. Winston. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. And just a yard to go here on second down. To throw, Winston. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. I think that time he just maybe held on to it a little too long, CD, because after a couple of seconds in this league, you know those defenders are coming. And how many times do we talk about complementary football? We usually talk about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can only do so much. On this play, he took them to the limits. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Harris. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. That one goes for eight yards. Working out of the gun, Winston. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now Winston. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Escaping the pressure right. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Lutz's kick is good. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, 
they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship. On first down, it's Darnold. Out left to Anderson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. The former Louisville Cardinal, it's Reggie Bonifon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Here's Bonifon. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Hand off to Bonifon. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. From the 50, it's Darnold. A bullet throw, but incomplete. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot... First down, Winston. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Griffin. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They go play action. Winston. Over the middle complete. That's Harris. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Jameis to throw it. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Jack Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. To throw is Winston. Flush to his right. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Third and goal here. A big play brewing in this NFC title game. Winston. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Harris. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. And Lutz puts this one through. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. 
And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. That's caught, it's Dan Arnold, the tight end. And oh, it caught up, and this is picked up by the Saints. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take... Look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. To throw on second and six, Winston. Open man complete to Humphrey. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. the carry this is Scott and he's going to work this one down to about the five a good run there on first down and it'll leave him with a second and two they stay on the ground this time it's Camara, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown Alvin Kamara a five yard touchdown run and the Saints now add six to their lead I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Here's Smith to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Begin their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You try to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. Wants to try to end the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Robbie Anderson making his way back onto the field. With them losing here in the second quarter and his limited productivity so far, you'd have to think they're going to try to look to him a little bit.
Fresh off the pick six, it's Darnold. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. The shotgun snap for Darnold. That is caught by Anderson. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Darnold from the gun. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. They run with Bonifant. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Now it's Darnold. Finds the open target, Arnold. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. And a reminder, folks, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report coming up shortly. The coach with us, as always, as he will start to look ahead to Super Bowl 53. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore, and it's third down. Back to throw, Darnold. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Matt Rule, a risk taker in college, going for it. And here we go on fourth. Darnold to the right side and complete to Thomas. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. On first and 10, Darnold. Space to run past the 20. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10 yard line. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Not able to go anywhere that time, second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second down and goal, Darnold. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Panthers are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing. I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead. Should Jameis now on first down. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On first and 10, Winston. Looking here for Smith downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Now Winston. 
And he's got the net. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. They'll throw again. Winston into the hands of his receiver, Humphrey. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Third and short yardage, Winston. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And he is gonna have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And it's a pretty good return here. So... The white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, what half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the AFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens doing battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Saints, for the Seahawks. And they had success all season throwing the football. No reason for that to change in the playoffs, as they've continued to move the ball well through the air. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they too found some success throwing the football. But I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here's Smith to return it. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Panthers ready to go back to work to start the third quarter and they have work to do in this second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl and I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't pay. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground not much there maybe a couple up to the 35. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Darnold. And that is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Darnold. And that ball incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Go, 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 go. 
They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. To throw on second and six, Winston. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. So now after the sack, Winston and the Saints needing to figure out what to do. Tough play, third and long. On third down, Winston. That's caught by Marquez Callaway. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. A run here with Bonifant. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. To throw is Darnold. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. That one going to be complete to David Moore. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 21 yards there on third down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Darnold now to throw. And it's complete to McCaffrey. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Now a handoff here to his running back. Room here to run. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. Yeah, this defense as a whole has really been flying to the football all game long. They have not allowed too much of anything, and here's another example. A great play there to get in and disrupt it before it could get going. A first down throw, Darnold firing quickly, but it's incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Darnold. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Darnold from the gun. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Let's go! Let's go! And he'll give it here to his running back. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Reggie Bonifar taking it in from four yards out. And the Panthers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. 
So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. And they go with McCaffrey. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. But they couldn't be happy that they were having to stop a two-point conversion because that means they gave up a touchdown. But a little solace there. You saw some good gang tackling stacking him up before he can get to the end zone. We talk about offensive units putting in more two-point period sessions in practice. Defensively, do you do the same? Absolutely. You have to because you never know how aggressive these offenses are going to be in games nowadays. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Certainly want to avoid what they... Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll start with a give to Kamara. Oh, he bowls over him. And he'll get this one up to the 26. A.J. Boye up to make the tackle. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Jameis to throw it. Out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. Call it a gain of five. And that'll lead here to a third down. Here's Scott. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Winston. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. To throw again on second down. Winston, he's got the tight end, Vanette. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Play action now, Winston. Out to his left. Winston into the slide, and he's got a first down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Winston now to throw on first down. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston. Open man here is Scott. Complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 12-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Again, it's Kamara. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. From the gun, Winston. On the check down, he finds Kamara. Touchdown! Alvin Kamara. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Saints are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Lutz with the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now 
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Here's Smith to return it. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And their dream of a Super Bowl berth so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. David Onyemata able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. But when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. The Panthers on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 10. Now it's Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. Airing it out deep for Smith. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Let's go. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. They'll run on first down. Scott. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They go again with Scott. And a short gain here down to the 22. The Saints on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and five. Throwing. Winston. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And makes it across the 20 as his guys go. will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And this isn't how they mapped out this AFC Championship game on their home turf, but it has been rough sledding pretty much from the start and on into this fourth quarter. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. David Moore, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Back to throw, Darnold. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he is going to have the Panthers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Darnold to throw again. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. 
Here's Darnold. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. On first and 10, Darnold. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Looking to go back to Thomas again, and it's second down. Here's Darnold. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Throwing again is Darnold. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Three yards the game there, second down. Darnold down to throw. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. To throw is Darnold. Over the middle complete. That's more. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Darnold from the gun. And that'll be incomplete. A shy Smith, the one he was looking for. But now it's third and goal. Darnold. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Chuba Hubbard there to make the grab. And the Panthers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah, you know. It doesn't that, feel right. Exactly. And the Saints' hands team able to rein this one in. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And a few kneel downs should... First down, it's Scott. Now the Panthers gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll keep it on the ground. Scott, and he's got room. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. And they'll indeed take a knee. <laughs> On 
on second down. It's Scott, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. 15 yards. And the Saints continue to pull the playoff surprise as they lead big here on the road. Well, Charles, fans around here, they were already talking Super Bowl. They've made plans. You just can't look past anybody in this league, especially this deep into the playoffs. You would think that every year that message would sink in, and it feels like every year we see something like this, especially the way they're handling it, all right? You, you didn't expect this part to happen, but when you're playing this deep in the playoffs, every team's dangerous. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's that's all the On first down, Darnold. That's into the hands of Marshall. A gain of six there on first. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. To throw again on second down. Darnold, he's going to let it fly. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. They give him a gain of 38. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. He was trying to go back to Moore there. And now it's second down. Again, Darnold. Getting this to Bonifant out of the backfield. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now Darnold. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl. Really a great season. Not a whole lot to hang their head about. Not at all. And you know, the, the winning side, they're so ecstatic. They're going to the Super Bowl. But for the guys that we're talking about, they've got to figure out how it's going to go next year. Are they going to be motivated by this loss? Or will this loss linger? and really make them, you know, make it tough for them to come out of the gate strong next year. Only time will tell, but they've got to find a way to use this loss and use it as motivation.